Here we have a very nice looking 2012 Audi A6 S line in white. Starts with the offside front tyre. Tread wise, we're looking at around 3mm there, with quite a bit of wearing there to the outer edge. As you can see, these huge 20 inch alloys. Bit of a scuff mark to the one side of the alloy. The rest of the alloy is clean, so just that scuff mark to the offside front. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, um, taking a good look down the bodywork, cannot spot any dinks or dents. Looking around the front quarter panel, just one or two light little scratches could do with a polish. Mirrors in clean condition. Drive's door itself again looks very clean. Door edge, no signs of any chips at all there. Bottom of the drive's door again, just one or two light scratches could do with the polish. Both the sills are in nice condition, you've got the rear privacy glass. Rear, oh, as you can see, just notice, sorry, there is a chip on the door there, just right at the top, that could do with a bit of paint. Rear passenger door, again the door edge is fine, very clean actually, no signs of any marks. Rear arch, again very clean, no damage there. There is one or two light scratches on the offside rear quarter. I can just about get my nail into that, so do be aware of that there. Rear tyre, we're looking at around 5mm. Offside rear alloy, again there is some marks around the outer edge of the alloy as we can see. Nothing too heavy. Uh, we have got some scuff marks to the alloy there though, as we can see, so potential refurb required there. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle. Looking at the back of the vehicle, as you can see what rear parking sensors. No signs of any damage at all. Everything appears to be in good order. Light scratches in the back of the tailgate there require good mop and polish. That appears to be it. Taking a look inside the boot. Lovely clean condition. And you've got your spare wheel in there as well, so that's spot on. Moving around to the other side rear tyre. Again, a good 5mm of tread there. Near side rear alloy, as you can see, you've got a slight kerb on the top of the alloy there, on the outer edge. Apart from that, rest of the alloy is in a good condition. Taking a look down the near side of the vehicle. Once again, bodywork looks very good, no dinks or dents there. A couple of scratches to the paintwork again, some of them are quite deep, like this one here. Again, I can get my nail into that. Some light ones will be able to polish out though. Rear door edge is fine and the front door edge is fine as well. And again, just one or two light scratches there. Mirror is in good condition, front quarter panel is clean, and the front tyre again around 3mm with a bit of wearing there to the outer edge. Looking at the near side front alloy, it does appear to be in good condition. However, moving around to the front of the vehicle, we've got a very heavy scuff on the front end of the vehicle. So a very heavy scuff there. And then some quite heavy stone chips to the paintwork, as you can see, dotted around the front bumper of the vehicle. We've also got one next to the grille here as well. So definitely going to require some touchings to the front bumper and a couple to the bonnet as well. Taking a look at the interior of the vehicle. As you can see, you've got the full black leather interior. It is absolutely spotless. No signs of any damage at all. Back of the seats are also in good condition. And as you can see, it's very, very well. Door panels are all very clean. Looking at your driver's seat, as you can see, you've got the S line, full black leather, bolster, slight bit of wear in there, again, just age related. Looks like it's had aftermarket heated seats fitted. Front passenger seats also in nice condition. Dashboard, etc., nice brushed aluminium finish, all clean, very tidy. Steering wheel is in good condition as well. We've got the automatic headlights there, etc. Stepping inside the vehicle itself. Just get the vehicle started. It is a push start, so. And if we just show you the keys, two sets of keys with the vehicle. Like I said, undeflated rear uh, tyre. Again, I will sort that out, no problem. You've got a warning light on the dash there. Mileage-wise, we are looking at, um, if we just get the mileage up for you. There we go, so mileage 29,739 miles on the clock. 
got your mods function steering wheel with the uh, paddle shift as well, nice condition there. You've got the pop-up screen um, with the navigation. No issues at all of functioning, this works perfectly fine as we can see there. So nav works fine. No issues at all with the radio. No problems with the blowers, they're all functioning very well. Your air conditioning, etc. Auto box. Taking a look at the paperwork, looking at the V5, the vehicle that has had one owner, so just one owner on the vehicle. We have got a service history here done at Audi, and that was taking place only 21,000 miles, as you can see. So it's had a one service with Audi at 21,000 miles. Obviously, hasn't required its first MOT yet. First MOT will be the 19th or the 10th, 2015, so plenty left on the MOT for the vehicle. There you have it, it's the 2012 Audi A6 S line in white, lovely looking car, there is a couple of um, bits of prep that I need to do into the car, some touchings, possible refurbs as well, obviously you've got the warning light on the dash there, but a uh, very nice looking car.